Hi everybody, Laura here for Honeybee Stamps. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a cute little Valentine pickup truck shape card, but I think it could be great for any time of the year. Who doesn't love a pickup truck? I know I do. And I'm gonna be using the big pickup cab and big pickup tailgate. You got the front and the back of a pickup truck. I'm gonna be stamping it on some Fabriana watercolor paper. Stamping it with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink because I'm going to add the color with a bit of watercolor magic, which I rarely do, but today I'm going to. Now, you know what? You might not know this about me and you probably don't care, but I love car stamp images. Cars, trucks, beetles, bugs. I like mopeds. I like scooters. I like anything that moves. I don't know why, but I do. And you know what? I grew up in the heart of Illinois, right in the middle of a bunch of cornfields. So seeing a pickup truck, kind of a special place to hold, special place in my heart. So I like a big old pickup truck. And for the back of the truck, that's where I'm adding the Valentine party. A big bouquet of hearts from the Loads of Love stamp set. And I stamped that on watercolor paper too. Uh, to color the images, I'm using Distress Inks. Nothing fancy, nothing schmancy. I got Candied Apple. I got Kitsch Flamingo, which I didn't even use on the pickup. But I thought, hey... Maybe I might do a pinky red pickup for Valentine. I mean, if I saw a pinky red pickup, I would drive it. But I ended up just using mostly the candied apple. Just a wet brush and I'm laying on the color. I sped this up, but it's very easy peasy, loosey goosey. And I was going for that. Oftentimes when I color things, I'm more of a precise type of a gal. But today I was feeling the loosey goosey look, you know, like an old weathered, pickup truck you know and it's not everyone's cup of tea but you know every once in a while it's nice to do something different than you normally do emma came over while i was doing this she's like mom that looks a little bit messy and i'm like that's what i was going for you know some people just don't appreciate when you step out of the box but uh i went for it you know and you you take a risk and now for the other little parts of the car i've got scattered straw for the headlights pumice stone a little black soot for the wheels and then for the windows i've got some cracked pistachio and evergreen bow now i'm painting the and i should have googled what all the parts of a pickup are called because i don't know i think is that called the grill on the front um not sure and then now the wheels and the uh the bumper <laughs> okay so um another thing that reminds me when i see pickup trucks is when i was in high school i used to detassel Anybody, any detasselers out there used to make a lot of money in the summers. It was hard work though. I mean, you got to get up at the crack of dawn. You, it's the middle of summer, like 90 degrees in Illinois. And you got to wear full flannel, jeans, bibs, boots, gloves, crack of dawn going out in there in the middle of the cornfields. And you got to pull the tops off the corn and you do it all day long until your arms fall off. You pack a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and you just make a lot of money and because you ain't working during the school year, you know, because you're in the band and, you, and you know, you're, you're just busy. So in the summer, that's when you do the detasseling. A lot of pickup trucks out on the cornfields. Uh, well, they weren't out on the cornfields, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so now I let all the paint dry and I use the coordinating dies to cut out the front and the back of the truck. This is really cool because I've never made a shape card where the front and the back are equally as gorgeous. And now at this point, I thought, why not add some flicks of that candied apple onto the red part of the truck? So I kind of masked off a little bit so I didn't get it on the windshield and the grill and all that. But I flicked on a little candied apple using the coordinating dies for the heart. And now here's where I'm gonna make a hinge to create the shape card. I took a one inch strip of cardstock and I'm scoring it right in the middle, like a half inch. I got this idea, the whole card was inspired by, um, I hope I pronounced her name correctly, Kelly Cahoot, or Kelly Cahout. I think it's Cahoot or Cahout. She uh, works for Honeybee Stamps, amazing, talented. She did an Instagram live making one of these pickup shape cards. And as soon as I saw it, you know, you ever do this? I'm sure you have. You watch somebody make a card, your jaw's on the floor, and you know, you know, in your heart of hearts that you're not going to be able to, to live another day without getting that product. It's just like whether you need it or whether you don't, you have to have it and you are going to have it. I was so lucky. Honeybee Stamps sent me the stuff and I was like, giddy is all get out 
So thank you, Kelly, for the inspiration. I love it. She made a, I think, a kind of a turquoise aqua pickup, which I love. And um, another thing she did was she die cut two extra pieces of white pickup to tape on the inside of the card, top and bottom. And that makes it look real professional-like, like you know what you're doing, like you mean business. So there we have our pickup truck. From here on out, I'm just going to zhuzh it up. Okay, I stamped another back end of the truck and I just colored the truck door. Die cut it, stamped hugs on the license plate. And then I also use the coordinating die for the little license plate. I'm going to pop up the truck door. Is that what you call it? Truck door, back door, truck. I don't even pick up truck back door. It probably has a name, but I'm popping this up. And I'm popping up the balloon, the heart balloons, and I'm popping up the license plate because, you know, dimension is life. And it really just gives that little bit of something, something. Okay, so I wanted to add a little love for Valentine's. So I got white glitter cardstock. These are the tailgate alphabet dies or honey cuts. So I did the love out of white glitter. I also did two more out of just white cardstock so I could stack them up using the honeybee glue. And I know this is very tedious. These letters are very tiny and skinny. But you know what? I just got to do it because I know if I don't, I'll be mad at myself. Because that little bit of dimension gives it that little bit of shadow, makes it stick out, makes it like an event. You know what I mean? Okay, so a little bit of glue on the back. I hold everything down with the blue tape. That way when I go to pop it on, I know everything's straight and I can get it perfectly centered. Let it dry peel off the tape. And now here's something that's optional. Um, you know, sometimes when you just don't know when to stop with a card and you're right on the verge of going overboard, that's where I'm at. Add a little bit of glossy accents to the balloons, to the tail lights, and to the mirrors, because why not? Like if you've gone, if you go, what do they say? Go hard or go home? That's where I'm at. And I think this would be so cute for a little Valentine card. So here you got the front business in the front. And then you got the party in the back. You could also tuck a little gift card in the back too. That'd be really cute. Maybe a sucker. Uh, so there you have it. I'm sending you some Valentine hugs and love and bouquet of balloons. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.